This is Franz. Welcome to the Series 7 Podcast and Study Guide. This is going to be video episode number 9, and we're going to be talking about options. This is going to be the first part. We're going to be covering a lot of very... Well, it's, it's, it's information that's easy, but you need to make sure you understand the information carefully because these terms are very specific and you need to know what we're going to be talking. This is Franz. Welcome to the Series 7 Podcast and Study Guide. This is video episode number 9 and in this episode we're going to be talking about options and this is going to be the first in several videos on options. Well, first of all, what what are options? Well, options are short-term in nature. They are not long. And you need to make sure that you don't consider an option an investment. An option is not an investment by the very nature of its short-term life. But it gives the holder a choice of buying or selling an asset which is held under option for a specific period of time. And that's the key. It's for a specific period of time. It's not perpetual. It's going to expire. It's a choice and not an obligation. We're going to be talking about two specific options. We're going to be talking about call options, which are the most common options that people speculate in. And these are options to buy at a specific price on a security for a particular time period. And puts are exactly the opposite. The option to put to somebody else, to sell to somebody a stock. So a put could be considered an option to short sell a stock. That might be a good example. It's an option to sell. A call is an option to buy. When you buy a put or buy a call or sell a put or sell a call, the price of the transaction is priced as a premium. It's the premium that you're going to buy an option for or sell an option for. It's called a premium. All right, so I'm going to deviate a little bit from the video, and I'm going to talk conceptually about a few things. In his book, Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain From Disorder, Nassim Taleb discusses the oldest recorded option. And it was done by this guy, Thales and Miletus. Thales is widely considered to be one of the first, if not the first, philosopher in the Western tradition. This uh, I got from Wikipedia. But Thales was from the town of Miletus, in Asia Minor, and that's actually in Turkey. And his friends sort of chided him, said, hey, you can talk the talk, but you can't walk the walk. So Thales decided to go out and prove that he could walk the walk. So he said, I'm going to go make some money. The stories that I've read say that he actually did own his own olive press, but that's what the story is about. It's about an olive press, and this is a picture of what an olive press looks like. In the harvest, farmers would bring in their olives, there would be a pole that goes through the hole in that grinding wheel, and it would go around in circles. There would be a peg. Let me see if I can get this. There would be a peg that comes up from here, and a and a, a long pole that would go through here, and they would walk around in circle, and it would push this grinding wheel around and around and around, and it would crush the grapes, and from the crushed grapes you would get the olive out of. So Thales of Miletus, and what I've got here is a few photographs that I took. I visited Miletus. It's a very rarely visited ruin in Turkey, and these pictures were taken in the summer of 2013. And I went here specifically to wander around these ruins and think about this philosopher. Thales said, well, I think we're going to have a pretty good olive harvest. In fact, he could probably see that the olives were coming in very well. And what Thales did is he went out and he went to every olive press that he could locate 
and he went up to the owners of the olive presses and he said hey I would like to have the use of your olive press and I'm willing to give you a premium of a certain dollar amount just so I can be guaranteed to have the use of your olive press and I would take precedence over somebody else and of course the owners of the olive presses were used to charging a standard rate for the pressing of olives so they sold this option to Thales the the harvest came in spectacularly and Thales exercised his option and refused to let anybody use those presses except through him so he charged one price for the pressing of the olives and paid the olive press owner another price for the use of that olive press and he made himself a lot of money so when you hear in Wall Street a new idea the latest and greatest new idea all I'm going to do is caution you first of all there's only two types of investments there's equity and debt options are speculations they're neither equity nor debt they're a short-term bet on the direction of an asset for a particular time and I just wanted to have you always keep that in mind because you're going to be inundated in your career with the next latest and greatest investment product that you should sell your client back away look at it analyze it and you'll find its component parts are basically debt or equity in every case and sometimes they'll sprinkle in options as an enhancement for income or insurance or something like that but the options portion is not an investment it's a hedge or an income enhancement or a speculation now if you go to this uh, YouTube video you can see an olive press in operation I'm not going to do that we're going to move on here but options can be on anything they can be on stocks futures contracts real estate olive presses use your imagination they can be on anything and when you start studying for the other exams you may take remember options act the same way in every investment you may take a foreign currencies option examination and you may take a futures options examination these are separate examinations from the series seven but options are the same in every asset category they have the same terminology they may be quoted slightly different but basically they act the same way all right that's the end of this video because we covered some fairly specific terminology that you need to make sure you understand so what are stock options where are they traded what's a call or put what's an option premium its time value its intrinsic value how do you tell when a, when an option is in the money or out of the money what are expiration dates how are options quoted and what about that Black-Scholes model